Kareem Martins says she's a victim of human trafficking, Paul Stale claims. Hey guys, my name is Paul, nice to see you on my YouTube channel. Early this month, Paul Stale surrendered his son Pierre to CPS after alarming reports of kidnapping. The troubled 90-day fiancé alum explained that he had been traveling for work. Now, Paul is confirming where both of his sons are. He is also addressing Kareem's, alleged, claims that she is a victim of human trafficking. Please keep in mind that this is all coming from Paul Stale. With this in mind, as always, we will continue to take things with a grain of salt. Several grains. A whole helping. Paul has a track record of saying many, many things on social media, some of which even he later regrets. Last week, Paul gave an interview on the Dominic Nadi show. He reiterated his denials about kidnapping three-year-old Pierre. As Paul has said more than once, he and his son were on an extended work trip with a catch. According to Paul, it was merely a coincidence that Paul's work trip coincided with CPS gaining custody of both of his sons. For the record, did return to Kentucky, where he handed Pierre off to his mom, who then surrendered him to Louisville CPS. Apparently, Paul did not wish to deal with the drama of the handover. Paul says that matters of custody are still in court right now, with both Pierre and Ethan in CPS custody. Previously, he protested that his parents could not be an emergency foster placement for the boys. However, he now sounds confident that the boys will be living with family or my mother's house. Paul says that this is a temporary arrangement until he and Kareem figure out what we want to do in life. That is an odd statement, considering the circumstances. But he says that, for now, he does not know where his sons are and has not gotten in touch with family yet. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to get video updates. Paul is now making some wild claims, and saying that Kareem has done the same. First. He says that Kareem was staying with someone who kicked her out. He now says that she is in a government program where they gave her a free house. Paul being the exact sort of person he is, he then rambled about that nice and huge house. He also alleged that Kareem does not have to worry about work or bills. Wow, that sounds like an improbably nice arrangement, but what is he talking about, exactly? Paul says that Kareem's new lifestyle comes thanks to a federally funded program for victims of human trafficking. So as a victim of human trafficking, they give her all this free stuff, he characterized. It sounds like Paul is claiming that Kareem received an OVCFI 2022 housing assistance grant for victims of human trafficking. Paul insisted that he won't get into it in terms of the allegations that Kareem has made. It sounds like Paul is saying that Kareem accused him of human trafficking, but he did not specifically say that. And if Kareem did make that allegation, it would be consistent with past accusations against him that go back years. For example, Kareem has accused Paul of constantly filming the interior and exterior of their home in order to monitor her. That was apparently true, as we have all seen footage from that house's cameras. In the past, Kareem also accused Paul of withholding important documents from her, including her green card. In the interview, Paul seemed to be already laying out his defense in case he is ever charged. We were on a TV show for four years so I mean, apparently she's a victim of human trafficking. Paul demanded. He also claimed that, someone else took her in there. It sounds like Paul is once again saying that sinister outsiders are influencing Kareem, or speaking on her behalf. He also assured listeners that the trafficking program will check on Kareem to make sure that she's not doing anything crazy. That sounds good. Somehow, amidst the allegations that she allegedly made, what she does at home alone was not our biggest concern.